Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to change the DNS settings for Unblocker on an Amazon Fire TV stick second generation. Before you make changes to your network settings in order to make your Amazon Fire TV stick work with Unblocker, you need to make a note of the existing settings that your network has already assigned to the device. The way that you do that is to press the home button. You'll be looking at a screen that looks something like the one we have in front of us here. Um, and then move the yellow highlight that's currently sitting on the home option across until it reaches the settings menu item. So we click right all the way across until we get to settings. At this point we can press the down ring, the down arrow, and move the highlight down into the various settings menus. The one that we're interested in is the one that's further across to the right hand side. So we need to press the right key until we reach the one that is labeled device. Scroll across, there's the device icon. At this point we press the select key and we should see the about menu popped up in front of us. This is the menu that we're interested in. So you need to press select once more to pick the about one and then scroll down until you reach network. There are four values that you're interested in. Uh, you will need to preserve these um, and make a note of them on a pen and paper now, please. So that's the, the SSID, that's the name of your Wi-Fi. Um, your IP address will often be something like the one I have here in front of me or may look more like 192.168.0. something or other. Um, and the gateway and the subnet mask. So if you make a note of those values, you should have everything that you need. Just one point, the IP address that's mentioned there is not the IP address that you have to register um, in your user profile page on the Unblocker website. This is the internal IP address, the IP address that exists on the Fire TV device and only matters to your network. It doesn't matter to Unblocker at all, all right? But you will need to make a note of it. So note the SSID, IP address, gateway and subnet mask. When you've made a note of all of that, press the home key on your device. In order to change the DNS settings on your Amazon Fire TV stick, you need to start at the home screen by pressing the home button. And then you need to move the yellow highlight bar across until it's sitting on the settings option in front of you. When you do so, you'll see the list of sub settings uh, presented as icons. We need to press the down arrow and then press the right arrow and select the network icon in front of you. The, the TV stick will show you the network that you are currently connected to. Uh, you can see I'm connected to uh, a household network here. And what we need to do is to forget all about that network. This is the one that you made the notes of before, and obviously yours will be connected to your own Wi-Fi. Um, you need to press the top right hand button on the Amazon uh, remote control, the one with three horizontal lines on it. If you press that, you'll see that the prompt on screen will change saying press select to confirm forgetting, in my case, uh, a family network. It will say forgetting your own. So go ahead and forget all about that network. Now you need to come down and select join other network. This is slightly different to how you'd have done it before. Join other network. And now you need to type in your Wi-Fi network name. I'm just going to use one here, which we're going to call my Wi-Fi, but you will be placing your own network SSID in there. Go ahead and type in my Wi-Fi and select the next button. Remember, you'll have typed your own network ID in there. We'll go down and pick the WPA PA2 uh, security settings. That's almost always right, the one you want. And press select on the option there, and then press select again to pick the next one. And now you need to enter a password. In this case, it's just going to be my pass. There we go. Now, you need to pick the advanced button here, not the next one, you need to pick advanced. If we press the advanced, we now get to enter the IP address. And this is the IP address that you should already have made a note of previously. 
Um, you'll see in front of you as well that it looks like there is already an entry in place there. There isn't. This is just the Fire TV trying to tell you or trying to help you um, to, to put the right numbers in there. So you should enter into this the IP address that you made a note of in the previous section. In my case, I need to enter something like this 192.168. And then mine was one one nine nine. Now go ahead and press next. Now you need to put a gateway in there. Again, the Fire TV looks like it's got a value already. It doesn't. You need to start typing. And press next. The network prefix length in almost all cases will be 24. So now we're actually able to enter the DNS servers into the Fire Stick. Um, you will need to identify the server to use. The ones that I'm going to use here are relevant for UK users, non UK users. Uh, we have servers uh, that you can use too. There's a link in the description uh, just beneath this video uh, that takes you to the um, constantly updated and preferred list of servers. And uh, you can also go to our Facebook group and uh, look in there and you should find uh, uh, another list of, uh, of up-to-date servers as well. So we enter the server in the usual way uh, by clicking and here we go. Once we've entered a server, we'll click next, and we can provide a secondary service. Again, it's not critical, it's a very good idea to do so. You'll find, as I described earlier, a list of servers either on the Facebook page or in the link beneath this video. All right, so we're all done. The Fire Stick will pop up a, a box which will show you a summary of the entries that you've made. You should check that those are all correct and all that remains to be done at this point is uh, click the connect button there and uh, you're all done. Unlocker is ready to go.